coming in at number 10, it's Michael Kors, the luxury goods maker and retailer, up 7% today. Kors' latest earnings and sales forecast, they exceeded analyst estimates. Stock is up about 100% since the company's IPO back in December. Big difference from Facebook. Yes, it certainly is. Juniper getting a little bit of a lift today, up about 1%. The maker of computer networking equipment announcing a new share buyback program of about a billion bucks. This is in addition to the $850 million in shares they have already bought since 2010. And number number eight, Zynga falling to a record low today, dipping below five bucks for the first time, now down more than 50% from its IPO price. That was after Cowan & Company said Zynga's daily active users declined 8.2% in May as players switched to mobile devices. And number seven is PNC Financial, the seventh largest U.S. commercial bank by deposits falling 1% today after saying it expects to boost revenues by $350 million. The money is going to be used to cover demands for refunds on faulty mortgages. And Boeing, the world's largest aerospace company, up about 3% today. Boeing was raised to outperform for market reform over at Sanford Bernstein. Sanford Bernstein saying the upgrade is based on the progress of, there it is, the 787 Dreamliner, the outlook for commercial aircraft deliveries and valuation. I got to tell you, I saw a 767 at JFK last week. It is a beautiful aircraft, and it is big. That is cool stuff. And number five, Textron, the maker of Cessna planes, up 3%. Warren Buffett, the Oracle himself, making a big bet on travel. Berkshire Hathaway's NetJets unit is buying as many as 425 private jets from Bombardier and Textron. The purchase is valued at $9.6 billion and marks the largest order ever for business jets. Well, there you go. Yeah. There's a bullish sign for the economy, correct? Well, well also, yeah. also smart when you think about it, he's coming in and buying in theory when their order book is low so that he can actually start taking delivery in two years when the economy in theory picks up. Very savvy guy, that Warren Buffett. <laughs> Indeed. All right, moving on here. Number four is Facebook, the social network Burr rising 1% today. Comscore said in a report that Facebook's marketing and advertising services are effective and encourage users to purchase products and stores. Uh, products in stores. And yes, so, indeed. Good news for them. All right, Harman International down about 3%, the maker of car infotainment systems. I don't even know what that is, but cars have just gotten so complicated. Making They basically say uh, late today they are working with Apple and BMW on iPhone integration for vehicles. Apple announcing yesterday it wants to put a push button for Siri on steering wheels. The voice recognition software would allow drivers to make a phone call or play with play music, I should say, uh, without taking their eyes off the road. Okay, I guess that's what infotainment is, but uh, I just need to get with the program. My car is still uh, analog only. All right, number two, First Solar leading the gainers in the S&P today, now up 20%. A scorcher, the world's largest maker of thin film solar panels, will delay the close of a German plant until the end of the year to meet unexpected strong demand in Europe. And number one stock of the day, everyone, Banco Santander, one of the 18 banks receiving a downgrade from Fitch, but seeing some green up 2%. The pressure facing Spain's banks may increase the possibility that the ECB will endorse a plan to guarantee bank deposits. 